Do you know what the deepest hole on Earth is? You might be thinking of something inappropriate, but I'm talking about the Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia. It's the deepest man-made hole on Earth, and it's so deep that it could make your head spin. But there's more to this hole than just its impressive depth. In fact, it was sealed up for a reason that will blow your mind. In this video, we're going to explore the fascinating story of the Kola Super Deep Borehole, from its inception to its surprising conclusion. But don't worry, we're not going to bore you with dry scientific jargon or technical details. We're going to take a humoristic approach that will make this science accessible, entertaining, and engaging. We'll start by diving into the history of the project and the incredible feat of engineering that it entailed. We'll discuss the technical challenges involved in drilling a hole so deep and the extreme temperatures and pressures that the drillers had to deal with, but we'll also inject some humor into the mix to keep things light and fun. Then, we'll get to the heart of the matter, what the scientists found at the bottom of the hole and why they decided to seal it up. We'll build up suspense and use humor to keep you on the edge of your seat as we reveal the surprising truth. Finally, we'll discuss the implications of what the scientists found and what it could mean for our understanding of the Earth's structure and history. We'll use analogies and metaphors to make the science more accessible, and we'll tie everything together in a fun and engaging way. So, get ready to dive into the depths of the Kola Super Deep Borehole, and let's explore the mysteries of the deepest hole on Earth together. The Kola Super Deep Borehole was a groundbreaking scientific project that began in the 1970s and lasted for more than two decades. Its goal was to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust in order to study the planet's structure and composition. Located on the Kola Peninsula in Russia, the borehole was drilled by a team of scientists and engineers from the former Soviet Union. The hole is an incredible 7.5 miles deep, making it the deepest man-made hole on Earth. To put that in perspective, it's more than seven times deeper than the Grand Canyon. The diameter of the hole is just nine inches, about the width of a large dinner plate. The drilling was carried out in stages, with each stage using a progressively smaller bit in order to maintain the integrity of the hole. The drilling process was extremely complex and challenging. The drillers had to deal with temperatures of up to 180 degrees Celsius, 356 degrees Fahrenheit, and pressures of up to 1,800 times the atmospheric pressure at the Earth's surface. They also had to contend with a range of technical difficulties, such as drill bits breaking and getting stuck in the hole, and mud and rock samples becoming contaminated. Despite these challenges, the team persevered, and they eventually reached a depth of 7.5 miles in 1989. At this depth, the temperature was around 356 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. However, the scientists were not satisfied with just drilling a deep hole. They wanted to take samples of the Earth's crust at this depth in order to study its composition. To do this, they had to drill a second hole, which branched off from the main hole at a depth of 4.3 miles. This hole was drilled at an angle and eventually reached a depth of 5 miles. From here, the scientists were able to take rock samples and study the Earth's crust. Overall, the Kola Superdeep Borehole was a remarkable achievement of human ingenuity and persistence. It pushed the limits of what was thought possible in the field of drilling and led to groundbreaking discoveries about the Earth's structure and composition. However, as we'll see in the next section, it also led to some unexpected and surprising findings that eventually led to the hole being sealed up. While the Kola Superdeep Borehole was originally intended to study the Earth's structure and composition, the scientists working on the project ended up discovering something unexpected. Instead of finding a solid, continuous layer of rock beneath the Earth's crust, they discovered that the crust was fractured and full of water. This discovery was a major surprise to the scientists, as they had expected to find solid rock at these depths. Instead, they found a layer of fractured rock, which was saturated with water. This was a major breakthrough as it provided new insights into the dynamics of the Earth's crust and how it behaves under extreme conditions. However, the discovery also had some unexpected consequences. As the drill bit penetrated deeper into the Earth's crust, the pressure and temperature increased dramatically. This led to the release of high-pressure gas and water into the borehole, which presented a major hazard to the scientists and engineers working on the project. In addition, the borehole began to behave in unexpected ways, with the rock surrounding the hole becoming unstable and starting to collapse. In order to prevent a catastrophic collapse, the scientists decided to seal up the borehole in 1994. 
This decision was controversial, as many people believed that the hole should be left open for future research. However, the scientists believed that the risks of continuing to drill were too great, and that it was better to seal the hole and focus on analyzing the data that had already been collected. The discovery of the fractured Earth's crust had major implications for our understanding of the planet's structure and composition. It helped scientists to develop new models of how the Earth's crust behaves under extreme conditions and provided new insights into the dynamics of earthquakes and other geological phenomena. In addition to the scientific implications, the Kola Superdeep Borehole also had cultural and political significance. It was a symbol of Soviet technological prowess and ambition, and its construction was seen as a major achievement in the face of Cold War tensions. However, the decision to seal up the borehole in 1994 marked the end of an era, and it was seen by many as a sign that the Soviet Union was in decline. Today, the Kola Superdeep Borehole remains sealed up, and its scientific legacy continues to be studied and debated. Some scientists believe that the borehole should be reopened in order to continue the research that was started decades ago. Others believe that the risks of drilling so deep are simply too great, and that it's better to focus on analyzing the data that has already been collected. In any case, the Kola Superdeep Borehole remains a remarkable feat of human ingenuity and scientific exploration. It pushed the limits of what was thought possible in the field of drilling, and it led to groundbreaking discoveries that continue to shape our understanding of the Earth and its place in the universe. The discovery of the fractured Earth's crust and the water-filled layers at such extreme depths had major implications for our understanding of the Earth's structure and composition. It provided new insights into how the Earth's crust behaves under extreme conditions, and it challenged some of our existing models of the planet's geological processes. One of the major implications of the discovery was that it shed new light on the origin and evolution of the Earth's oceans. It is now believed that the water that fills the Earth's oceans may have originated from deep within the planet's crust, and that the process of plate tectonics may have played a key role in bringing this water to the surface. The discovery also had important implications for our understanding of the Earth's interior. By studying the composition of the rock samples taken from the borehole, scientists were able to learn more about the mantle and core of the planet. This information is essential for developing more accurate models of the Earth's internal dynamics and for predicting geological phenomena such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In addition, the Kola Superdeep Borehole has helped to advance our understanding of the history of the Earth. By studying the layers of rock at different depths, scientists have been able to develop a more detailed picture of the planet's geological history. This has helped us to understand the processes that have shaped the Earth over millions of years and to develop more accurate models of how the planet will continue to evolve in the future. However, the discovery also had some implications for the safety of deep drilling. The release of high-pressure gas and water into the borehole presented a major hazard to the scientists and engineers working on the project. In addition, the borehole began to behave in unexpected ways, with the rock surrounding the hole becoming unstable and starting to collapse. This highlights the potential risks of drilling so deep and underscores the importance of taking safety precautions when exploring the planet's depths. In conclusion, the Kola Superdeep Borehole was a remarkable scientific achievement that pushed the limits of what was thought possible in the field of drilling. Its discovery of a fractured Earth's crust and water-filled layers at extreme depths provided new insights into the Earth's structure and composition and challenged our existing models of the planet's geological processes. The implications of the discovery are still being studied and debated today, and they have helped to advance our understanding of the Earth's history, interior, and evolution.